My accident took place on the 20th of August, 97. It was that particular year. We had an early harvest here in Donegal, so I decided I'd pull the machine in and get the brake sorted out before we went to the steep ground. The brake system, these machines, are tucked underneath here on the axle. So, took off this wheel, jack dropped, put the axle stand here under the axle, and came in from behind, was lying underneath, screwing above my head. As I was slacking off the studs holding the housing, never had been opened before. It gave one of them a pretty sharp jerk, and the machine sort of gave a shake, and I realised then the machine was coming down. It fell off the axle stand, and I was lying on the floor, and the, when the machine came down, the hub of the wheel landed here on my thigh. The axle crushed the pelvis, and this arm it happened to be upright at the time. When I looked around, the hand was no longer there. The hand was hanging down. And lucky enough, the workman and the young lad was there in the shed. And they got the machine lifted. And the ambulance come and gathered what was left of me up and arrived up in the Lurkinney Hospital. If I had a came at us from the front end, instead of coming down the top of my thigh, as the machine did, I directly crushed my chest and propped my head. It would have been a fatal job. But I was lucky that I hadn't come in from this angle. Otherwise, I wouldn't be telling you the story today. Five years after the accident, I developed a problem with the circulation in the left leg again and got in touch with the people in Dublin and said, yes, there's a blockage right down alongside your left knee. But they have you in the theatre on Friday morning, an hour, an hour and a half, and we'll get it sorted out. I became conscious one week later, and the foot was gone. It slows everything down to start with. With the prosthesis, you're talking at least 10 minutes before you're out of the bedroom. You start and put on the socks and whatnot, and then get actually put on the prosthesis and strap it on. You always have to think, think, think of the stump. If you are going to lift something, you have to be very sure you're standing in the proper way before you grab something. You threw it, those days are gone. It just slows you, it slows the whole operation up. You just pick the work. Make sure you don't get yourself into a knockered position with the prosthesis or anything else. You get down at times. That's fairly regular occurrence, you know. When anyone in the house is in bad form or that, it affects everyone. It was a hell of a trying time for my wife. And luckily enough, she was a teacher and she had her own job and kept the thing rolling on. But I mean, the financial implications at the time had not. The bank manager is bound to take a different look at things from a guy that was fit and working to a guy that was hobbling around on an artificial leg. There were five lads, five eldest. They came each year. There was one finishing secondary school at that stage, and each of them took a year out to stay here on the farm. So that's how we got over the first five or six years. I was out of action for a year because of a rush. I must change the whole pattern of life because of rush. Slow down, slow, slow the thing down. Set up the job, then step back and take a look at the job. And when you have a good look, go then, you start to work at what you're going to do. Okay, we might not get it finished today, but at least we'll be here tomorrow to finish it.